guys, this is Hover. Today I am here with a makeup look that is apparently really popular in Japan and it is starting to become popular here in Korea. Like YouTube wise, it's very, very hot. So I decided to try as well. It's supposed to have really, really heavy cheek blush. So I decided to tone it down so you can, you know, actually use it as a everyday kind of makeup. It's called a opero or igari makeup which translates to apparently um, tipsy makeup. It's supposed to make you look rosy under the influence of alcohol, you know? It's supposed to make you look a bit innocent. I don't know how you can be innocent when you're tipsy, but you know, a bit vulnerable and cutesy and stuff like that. Yeah, let's begin! First, I'm going to cover my dark circles with a peach corrector. Just mind you that I have foundation on half my face because I, by mistake, put foundation on. So I covered my dark circles and then I'm going to go with my concealer over the corrector. Now, without the corrector, I usually um, used dark concealer to cancel out the darkness, but now I can because I've already canceled out the darkness. And while the concealer goes tacky, I'm just going to apply foundation on the other half of my face that was bare. This is Espa's new foundation which I've yet to do the review for. And then I'm going to just dab the you know concealer to blend and it's already like a highlighter which I think is great. And then I just added a bit of foundation on my cheek area to cover the dullness and darkness. I didn't want to go with a concealer because it would be dry and go flaky and then with powder I'm just going to very lightly um, set my foundation with a powder with a powder I don't know it's just glowy makeup is not yet a thing for me I'm still like on the summer side when it comes to the skin finish so yeah I'm going with a powder and then when I'm done setting very lightly I'm going to go and you know use primer on the lids of my eyes. I'm going to dab the primer to blend. It can get really messy so I very lightly pat even over my eyebrows because I'll be drawing my eyebrows with this dip brow pomade. I'm going for a straight line because after all this is a cutesy innocent look. So I drew a very straight line on the bottom edge and my top edge would have a slight angle or arch to meet the end of my eyebrow. And then I'm going to fill in with the same dip brow pomade. As you can see, they're very, very straight. And then I'm going to brush over with a spoolie just to make sure that my hairs are standing the right way. And then I'm going to fill in wherever I don't have natural brows. I'm just going to fill in with darker powder product and then I'm going to coat my brows with a brow gel. I'm just going to comb in a very small zigzag motion so that I am a little bit more careful with them. And when my brows are done, I'm going to move on to my eyeshadows. I'm using this matte peachy pink, coral pink whatever shadow all around my eyes on about the half of my eyelid just up to my socket line with a blending brush and then I'm going to go with a darker like a cranberry red brown kind of shadow on my outer V to create that redness which will also add to that flush kind of look and also on the inner about third and this eyeshadow wasn't that well pigmented so I had to really pack the eyeshadow um, on the areas. Okay, so I have the middle space that's really really clean right now besides the pink uh, matte shadow that I applied. On there, I am going to use a beige kind of glitter and I'm going to mainly focus on the center of my eyelid in the crease area and then blend it with the fluffy brush so that the glitter is a bit more dispersed but more focused on the center where I used my fingers to dab on. Okay, and then I'm going to use this beautiful coral, very, very saturated coral under my eyes 
because it's pretty. And then on the inner corners, I'm going to use these very um, baby pink kind of glitters, which I thought was really pretty. Matches the whole pink thing. And then I'm just going to casually line my eyes as I would usually, except a little bit longer than usual because that's how much shadow I put on. It's a bit more than usual. And blended it with a flat shader brush that's more natural. And then I am going to prep my... Oh, no, no, no. I am going to <laughs> shade my nose. I'm going to contour my nose. I only shaded uh, the bridge, bridge of my nose, but just do whatever you want. Um, yeah. And then I just put a bit more of the pink shadow just so that it's a bit more obvious, but only a little bit, just as like a tidy up kind of thing. And now I'm prepping my lashes with a eyelash curler. And then using whatever mascara you have on hand, preferably not something that will, what you call, smudge. And also on the bottom lashes, uh, doing this, like brushing with the stick, uh, what is it called? With the comb, vertically, to get more product on and then brushing and then yeah my favorite lashes at the moment I should have waited more for the glue to go more tacky but I'm very impatient when it comes to things like this so yeah I'm just going to touch up the for the angle like how far up is it facing I don't know and then I'm just going to fill in uh, the empty spaces between the roots of my lashes and then the band of the false eyelash just so that it looks neater with a black liquid liner and then the highlight of this makeup is this blush so I'm using this Jill Stewart blush which is really really saturated so you can go for this very translucent kind of watercolor feel um, by very very lightly touching on the cheek area it's very up close to the eyes as you can see and then I'm just going to blend with a buffering brush just so that it's not too harsh and you know that you don't look over drunk that you're just a, little, a bit of flush in your face you know and then I'm taking the sex appeal which is a very natural peachy kind of blush just on the edge of the pink blush that I applied so that it's further blended in if you know what I mean yeah, and then I'm going to apply it a little bit on the nose just for that, you know, rosy, kind of cutesy kind of look. This is something Sonishide does a lot of times and I look so drunk. Um, well, I didn't look drunk enough, so yeah. And then with a lip, lip concealer, I put a little bit too much, so I blotted it with a tissue. And then I am going to apply a rosy pink kind of lipstick, which is really really pretty but it's not long wearing so I'll have to touch up like a lot still it's a very pretty yet fall kind of color so I chose it and the makeup is done I just need to take off that bit of cat hair that was stuck on my septum and I'm done uh, yeah uh, how did you guys enjoy this look I mean I'm and I'm feeling very nervous but I'm trying to look as tipsy and drunk as possible and that's it Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!